So a viewer asks, in Canva, I would like to make a black screen with white lettering and an image on the side just like in this video. Here's the video here, and in this video I will be showing you how to do it. Welcome back you beautiful Canva creators. I'm Dr. Craig Ingstrom, but you can just call me Craig because I'm an easygoing kind of guy. In this video, as I promised, I will be showing you how to recreate all of the elements so that you can create a slide just like this. It is a quite beautiful slide. I really like it, so I can see why the viewer was interested. So what you wanna do is, of course, when you log in and go to your Canva dashboard, you'll go to create a design, create the canvas that you want. It could be a Facebook post. Most likely, if you're thinking for YouTube presentation, you could choose YouTube, or you could also go to just presentation 16 by nine, and then you're going to open it up. So of course, you will start with a blank screen like this. First things first, you wanna just make your background black. So we're gonna do that. Click here and go to black. All right, whoa, let me interject here. Actually, after I created the video, I did realize that there's something that you might notice in this video, and that is it's actually a video in the background, not just black. It's got these like dust particles floating around. So I'll be showing you how to do that in this video as well. So play through, okay? Now, the next thing that you want to do is you want to add an image. Of course, you can search for something like Epicurus, and it brings up these. Now, I'm not seeing anything that I particularly like. It's not like that image in there. I actually like that one. So what you'll want to do is probably go to the trusty old internet. I use Bing myself, and I searched for a variety of images. Now, one thing to be attentive to is you can in Bing or even in Google, you can use filters, and you want to probably filter out and choose in terms of the license it has, you wanna probably select on public domain and then it'll bring up those images that you're free to use. And in fact, I was able to find the one that seems to be used in this video here. So what we're going to do is now just basically copy and paste that. So come back over to here and I could click on this. I can go copy image, bring it back to my canvas slide here and paste it. I could hit control V as well. That's going to plop it in. Now, of course, if you like the color of the background, you could match it. It does look a little bit lighter than just dark black. So what I'm going to do is go up to uh, edit image here, and I'm going to click on background remover. Now, of course, you can see it still didn't remove everything. So you could erase more if you want. So let's say you wanted to get rid of that. I see no reason to really do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click done, but you could play around with it just a little bit. Now, one thing you'll notice is that it's a little bit grayer and I actually like that myself as well than this one. This one's kind of got this like muted yellow color to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to uh, under edit image, I can go to adjust. And so I could play with like, you know, how bright it is, you can do contrast. I was doing that, it did work pretty well, but in fact, I could probably just go down to filter, see all, I'm gonna dive down and I'm gonna hit grayscale. Okay, so that does make that pretty gray, but I actually liked when I hit street, ooh, I loved that contrast. Just really made sort of like the dark lines pop a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead now and just make the image the size that I want. I really wanna get that six uh, golden ratio or actually sort of the, um, right or left aligned adjustment going. So you can see, just gives us a lot of space and it does create some balance here. So go back over to here and that's exactly what they're doing. I mean, they even have it sort of dialed in a little bit more, but you can see, yeah, that's close enough for me anyway, but you can keep playing with it. Okay, so now what you wanna do is add that text. Of course, you're just going to go to text and you can drop in some text. I'm not gonna recreate everything that I did, but do note that I use Della Respira here, and I used uh, Adiron. I did search at one time for Cyrillic, thinking that it might give me sort of that Greek lettering or that Russian style of look, and I didn't quite see any that I liked. So um, anyway, these are the two that I ultimately went with. Of course, choose whatever text you think will look nice and just kind of get that centered. And I'm copying and pasting it. Now note that when you write it, it might be in lowercase, so you can always go up to here and click on, you know, resize. Oh, I see, it's the actual style of the, I guess that is always uh, all caps. So let's go ahead and choose Garrett here. So you can see that it's lowercase there, but if I want it all uppercase, of course, quickly I can change that just right there. In any case, uh, that shows you how to create the image, the text that you want. And then of course, I think they bolded some words in, um, the text, which doesn't allow me to do it with this one. So what you could do is change it to another one. Let's just go with that Garrett. 
And, you know, you can maybe make a few other words pop of some kind, whatever you want to sort of stand out. Now, one thing I noticed, if you are watching the video very closely, you can kind of see it. There it is. So there's like these like lines sort of sort of disappearing and um, not disappearing, but these like dust particles flying. So actually, I think that adds a little bit of an element. Of course, you could just go with straight black. But one thing that I did is I actually went to elements and I searched for dust. And then I selected videos and I just found a video that I liked. So if you come back over here and I can actually click play, you will see that it has all of these dust particles floating. Um, you know, let's say if I put that one on there, I just go and put it on there and then I'm going to go say replace background and it'll snap it to the back and then it'll just, you can play now. It doesn't look quite exactly the way that I want. So I could detach it from the back. I could come up here and I could give it some more transparency and then now I'll replace background with it. And I think now you don't, it doesn't seem so bright. It's kind of just floating in the background there, adding an element. Anyway, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be creating a little bit more videos. It's been a while since I've been here. Hey, this is a great way to come back when you have a viewer ask you for, you know, a little bit of support and help. In any case, if you have ideas about how to create awesome Canva, go ahead and leave a comment. Let's create a community where we're all beautiful Canva creators together. Until the next video, have a wonderful day.